going guys? Welcome back to Basketball Down Under. Today we are talking exactly why Jalen Green needs and wants out of the Houston Rockets. Now, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I think this video could be summed up in about four seconds with this slam dunk performance. Look at the chemistry between him and Josh Christopher. Just look at his overall performance. I thought that kid had bounce. Yes, he's got bounce, but he doesn't know how to use it. To be fair, you could have gave an 80-year-old man the same go. bounce as Jalen Green and they would have used it the exact same in that dunk contest. What a flop. But we're not here to talk about the dunk contest. We're here to talk about exactly why Jalen needs out of the Houston Rockets. The Houston Rockets are 15 and 44. That is last in the Western Conference. That's quite funny and that is the number one reason why Jalen needs out. It is a dying franchise. Ever since Harden left and Chris Paul, they have just been struggling. Harden had to literally wear a fat suit to get out of Houston. The franchise is just not good. So if we look at the perspective of that, let's look at the front office. All the guys, all the executives, they can't be doing a good job if their star player a few years ago has to put on a fat suit just to leave the club. Fast forward to right now, Jalen Green's on the Houston Rockets. You can't tell me it's got a good culture if they're 15 and 44. Imagine at their practices, they must be having lots of fights, arguments, and just not a lot of good communication going on if they can't win a goddamn game. But if we look at the actual gameplay and where we see the issues with Jalen, the court is where the biggest flaws happen. He's playing behind Kevin Porter Jr. He's a very good player. The Houston Rockets, they're playing him as a catch and shoot player. He's really not getting the ball much in isolation. He's really not getting to do his own thing too much. He's mainly just working off other guys, coming off screens and looking off plays to try and get catch and shoot threes. That's 90% of the way that they're playing him right now. If we look at Jalen Green's high school career and his G League Ignite career, he was so much more than that. First of all, his explosiveness and his athleticism, he was just able to jump out the building on a fast break and he could take anyone off the dribble because he had his first step of explosiveness. Now, I know he's now in the NBA where he's not faster than everyone like he was in high school or the G League. So I know his speed isn't as dominant, but he He's still a springy, quick guy that should be able to use his speed off the dribble to get to the ring a lot more than he is. He's playing behind Kevin Porter Jr. and I know Jalen Green is not a number one guy. He is nowhere near the level to be the number one option for an offense. But he's playing behind Kevin Porter Jr. and that guy, he loves to jack shots. Yes, he makes a lot of shots, but he also shoots a lot of shots that are questionable. Some go in, some don't. But the whole point of Kevin Porter Jr. taking those shots is it's taking shots away from people like Jalen Green or even the other young guys. Their whole roster is just filled with a either really washed up players or really young guys. Like they got Eric Gordon. You can't tell me the last time you heard Eric Gordon score above 30 points. He just doesn't do it anymore. And they've also got Dennis Schroeder. And you can't tell me that guy's done anything good since he sold the bag with Boston. That guy, he's losing out on a lot of money. And in saying that, there's not really that many veterans for Jalen to learn off. Yeah, he's got Eric Gordon and Dennis Schroeder, but these guys are not like serious veterans that can give you some knowledge, like a Chris Paul, for instance. Now, I know there's not 100 Chris Pauls, but there are a lot of guys with an abundance of knowledge, and there just ain't that many guys on that team. So his development overall isn't going to be as quick as if he was learning off a really good player. But he is averaging just under 15 points per game at the moment and just over three rebounds. 15 points a game is very solid. It's it's the fact that he's shooting 31% from three that I do not like. That is ugly. Yuck. Good. As a guy that's pretty much playing as a catch and shoot guy, you can't be shooting 31% from the field. At a minimum, you gotta be shooting about 40% from the field. If you can get it up above 42, 44%, that's elite territory. But he's not even near that, he's at 31%. Now, to be honest, that's not surprising. Most rookies don't come into the league as lethal shooters. They need to adjust to the pressure and they just overall haven't got as many reps as a guy that's 30 years old. A 30 year old player literally has 10 years on Jalen Green and therefore a lot more shots. So I actually did make a video about Jalen Jalen Green about four months ago saying that he will win the Rookie of the Year. At the moment, that's not looking exactly likely, but you never know, there's still a fair few games in the season, he could go off and actually change everybody's mind. But the biggest issue is, is Jalen is just still a child's body. He doesn't have that physical strength to play any good defense on his opposition. Yeah, he might get the old chase down block or a big steal or something like that, but playing actual solid defense in the half court set, it's not his strong point and he really needs to put on some muscle and get his IQ through the roof so he can be more of a threat on defense. So so if we look at his situation right now, there's only one real positive. Because there's not like a serious superstar max contract player in like a LeBron or a KD or someone, he does get an opportunity to shine and actually do something on the
the court. If he was playing on a team such as the Brooklyn Nets, he'd be getting the worst defender because there's guys that are defending KD and whatnot, but he's also not getting nearly as many opportunities as he is at the Houston Rockets. So even though it is a dying franchise, he's still getting his opportunity to shine to post some stats and maybe even use that to his advantage to then get traded next season or at the end of his rookie contract and leave and move to a better team. But overall, if we're looking at it, there's not that many positives coming out of Houston. His skill is sort of getting wasted there along with a bunch of other young talent that should be going other places. My man Jay Sean Tate, who was playing in the NBL two years ago, is also dying in Houston. The difference is he's a mature age rookie. He's like 26, 27 years old. So he's kind of happy to make his money where Jalen Green's only 20 years old. He's got like 15 years left in the league if he stays right. And he'd like to do it at a team that can actually do something and actually win a game. He's gone 15 and 44. I can't do anything but laugh at that. You're losing literally 75% of the time. Like... Yeah, that would be terrible. So yeah, Jalen Green needs and wants out of Houston ASAP. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with your friends, and I'll catch you later.